happy October! Um, I'm in my Halloween costume today, very exciting. So I'm just telling you today a little bit about my residency in Cornwall. The fish factory where I had the residency is based in Penryn in Cornwall and the fish factory is actually a space for um, exhibitions, it's a cafe, it has a dark room and it also has a couple of studios where lots of artists work. Um, it's been a really nice opportunity to be there. Uh, Cornwall is a beautiful landscape and I was spending a lot of time walking around trying to find lots of different things to inspire me. I was really inspired particularly by uh, Merlin Sheldrake's book which I bought from the Falmouth bookstore and it was talking a lot about mushrooms and about the life that can be found all the way underneath the soil and how everything is really connected on a fundamental scale. It was really exciting to think about all these networks that are joined up underneath the ground um, and I'm sure that will inspire me even more in future. So one of the main aims of my residency was to take photographs on analogue film using Cathanol Developer and I wanted to take photographs of the night sky so I've tried taking photographs of the night sky before on analogue film and developed them in Cathanol and it hasn't really worked. So I did a little bit of research about the Ilford Delta Cathanol recipe and ended up pushing the development a couple of stops. So I'm going to share that recipe with you guys on Patreon um, and eventually I'll share that to YouTube so other people can replicate. One thing I would suggest and what I'll try in the future is to push the developer even further. Um, the results are quite grainy but I'm really happy with that so I'm not going to change that too much. So why did I want to do this residency? Um, I was particularly interested in making work in Cornwall. In Margate and Ramsgate we have the beautiful sea and we do have beautiful landscapes but it's not quite as dark so you can actually see the stars better in Cornwall. Cornwall is also wilder so I just wanted to experience more of a wild landscape and explore some rugged coastlines and get some inspiration that way. What is an artist residency? An artist residency is when an artist goes to a different landscape um, or goes to a different place and gains inspiration from the environment. This is a really good way of getting perspective and coming up with new ideas as an artist and that's something that I also talk about quite a bit in my PhD this idea of going on a reflective journey and gaining inspiration that you wouldn't get from your usual everyday life. Over the past couple of years I've been on quite a few different residencies and all of these residencies particularly have been about going to different landscapes to experience the night sky. So I've been to residencies in Iceland um, where I was travelling up mountains in the middle of the night going in the snow and learning about Icelandic folklore and things like that. So in future residencies I hope to safely pick different plants and things like that to use those different plants in my developer making process. I've always been interested in materiality and I've used things like meteorite dust within my work before so actually using plants from within the landscape as part of the work itself is really, really exciting. One of the reasons of going to Cornwall was that my brother has just moved to university there and I've not seen him since March. So I was actually able to spend some time with my brother walking around the landscape. He's really obsessed with nature as well, so we had lots of walks. We went to Pendennis Point in the night and took photographs through the trees there. Um, we also went to St Ives and watched surfers um, playing in waves and we also went to the Eden Project in Cornwall which was a great way of learning about different plants around the world. As well as taking photographs of the night sky, I also wanted to experiment more with infrared photography. So I didn't quite use an infrared film but I used Lomo Purple which is based on infrared film and that's a film that you can still buy today and it's really available on things like the Lomography websites and in shops. This film works in a similar way to infrared film in that when you take a photograph of an object which is um, living then you get quite vibrant colours and the shift is quite a little bit different in colours. Um, the Lomo purple 
as you might expect is more purple and red. So if you want to use Lomo purple film then the best thing to do is shoot in broad daylight. Uh, this film works really well under bright conditions and I've tried it before in previous times on quite a cloudy day and it didn't work very well. As well as taking photographs using Lomo purple and of the night sky I took some colour film photographs um, which is something that I don't usually do which turned out really well. The colours came out really vibrant despite the film being really really old so I'm happy with that and as you can see there were some interesting light leaks I'm not quite sure how those light leaks got in but I think it's something to do with the film um, having been sat in a cupboard for quite a while and um, potentially exposed before it was given to me. I've also used uh, analogue film to take photographs of the surroundings. I went on lots of walks in Penryn on my own um, exploring with my camera and I felt that was a very freeing opportunity that gave me a lot of um, inspiration for future work. Um, so the photographs that I took were mainly of the surrounding area and um, looking through the um, forest and things like that, looking for mushrooms as I was mentioning before and um, yeah it was an opportunity for me to try out the Caffeinol developer again and really try and get the best results possible. So if you like my work you can subscribe to my YouTube and you can also join my Patreon. My Patreon has been really good over the past couple of months to support my practice, uh, mainly by material costs and giving me extra resources to experiment with. So thank you very much if you're already a Patreon, it really helps. And if you're not, have a think about joining because it's been really brilliant over the past couple of months. If you join my Patreon you get exclusive tutorials you get videos before everybody else does and you also get things like this postcard. So this is a postcard of my Bubble Planet project um, and you get one of these every month if you subscribe to the £10 tier. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next month.